Nola gent here at Panchetta's Mexican. Good stuff in here, yeah! Welcome to Nola gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel blog, we are visiting Panchita's Mexican Criolla for our New Orleans Best Mexican Food Review videos. It was a very nasty and stormy day in New Orleans with alternating moments of brightness and darkness as different storm clouds moved through. So there was a lot of rain, then it would stop, and then a lot more rain. Panchitas is located in the Carrollton area of New Orleans at 1434 South Carrollton Avenue, which is about 14 minutes and five and a half miles away from the French Quarter. This New Orleans Mexican restaurant has become noted for their more unique offerings, and they feature an interesting choice of sampler platters, which are a great option to try multiple dishes. So let's run inside out of this storm and check out the good stuff in here. Panchita's Mexican also offers a daily happy hour and different weekday specials for drinks seven days a week and food specials six days a week. The food specials offer some good value and their daily happy hours are quite popular. Panchita's Mexican Criolla has a prime location on Carrollton Avenue, which has made them one of the more popular Mexican restaurants in the greater New Orleans area. So I got soaking wet, so I'm going to take off my rain jacket, hang it up, and uh, we can look around here and start to enjoy the atmosphere. And here it is a pretty small place, but they've got it decorated pretty nicely. I really like the brick floor in here, as that gives it a nice little uh, effect. And it's also very functional and sturdy, which is important in New Orleans. And you can see they have a nice margarita sign that looks like a cactus a little bit that lights up. And then there are a lot of other little decorations. You can tell we're still in the pandemic with less seating and some of the chairs are up there, but there's a little sombrero there. And hey, look at there, my little uh, sombrero wearing jalapeno. I like that guy. Hey, hey. So they've done a good job with what they have here to make it a very pleasant and interesting spot. Now let's check out the menu and decide what we're going to eat. I'm starving. Yes. So for their appetizers, they have guacamole, they have queso amarillo plain, queso fiesta, and chorizo. And they have breakfast all day. They have a plato del dea. They have soups and salads with a chicken tortilla soup, a taco salad, a taco salad, fish or shrimp, and panchita's healthy salad. And entrees, two tamales, flautas, chicken or beef, nachos. And then we have empanadas, three Mexican meat presses, stuffed served with rice, beans, and salad. Roca plain, plain beef or chicken, Mexican pizza, handmade tortillas topped with beans, tomato, onion, avocado, sour cream, and queso fresca, quesadillas, burritos, carne asada, tacos, chimichanga, tortas, and enchiladas. Then on the next page, we have a chile rolano poblano, Chiluto de cerdo, tostadas, chicken or beef, tostadas de ceviche, bistec a la mexicana, carnitas de cerdo, then various types of fajitas, and then we have a kid's menu and desserts with flan, chocolate flan, tres leches, pantano frito, and churro. Then we get into the combination dishes, the sampler platter, any three, a complete plate with tostada, chicken or beef, enchiladas filled with chicken or beef, cheese topped with red, green, mole or queso, stuffed jalapeno, chicken or beef, cheese, guata, chicken or beef, Montano frito, tamale served with rice, beans and a salad. Then we have tapakina, a steak and tomatado, small rocha. Montana Frito, served with rice, beans, french fries, and salad. Panchitas, special tequiza. Meat sampler, comes with an al pastor, chorizo, barbacoa steak, chicken, shrimp, topped with onions, served with rice, beans, guacamole, jalapeno, and tortillas, serves up to three people. Then a molequejete, a sizzling bowl filled with steak, chicken, shrimp, bacon, onion, melted Monterey cheese, served with rice, beans, pico de gallo, and homemade tortilla a selection of drinks and alcohol. And then we have a selection of their weekly specials and I will just let you read these drink and food specials on your own. You can pause the video to check those out. You also get free chips and salsa with two different salsas to try out.
So both of the salsas had really good flavor. They just were uh, pretty thin and watery, so it was kind of uh, messy to eat them. I would like it a little thicker personally. Uh, other than that, they were good and the chips were crisp and fresh. So overall, decent chips. And hey, I destroyed them, so go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about the chips. But now, look at this monstrous meal. Oh my gosh, here we have the sampler platter. So this is the complete plate with a tostada, an enchilada, a stuffed jalapeno, a flauda, and the plantino frito, which is the uh, banana dessert, and a tamale served with rice and beans. So I'm gonna get into this uh, stuffed pepper right here. Ooh, this looks tasty. Mm. Hey, this has some good flavor. I'm liking this, so this is a very nice stuffed jalapeno. This is a big jalapeno. Ooh. Got a lot of uh, meat in here, so I can't complain. Maybe a little uh, cheese added will also make it a little more decadent. It's mostly meat. I don't think there's any cheese in here at all, so I like it's just maybe uh, a little bit of cheese in there to make it a, a little more ooey gooey. So we destroyed that pepper. Now we're going to move on to, I think this is a flotta. So, hmm. Okay, so it's full of chicken. Got a nice crunchy outside. It's good on the inside. Again, a little uh, cheese in there might make it a little more gooey, gooey, delicious. It's pretty much just the uh, fried chill with uh, the chicken and maybe a little bit of seasoning in there. I think I'm not getting any other flavors really, but it's a decent little item. So, hmm. okay, so this is going down quite easy. It's always good to have a uh, chock full of meat thing like this. It always goes well together. And this is pretty neat to eat actually. It's not a bunch of stuff running all over the place. I'm a complete failure with tacos. They just go everywhere with me. All right, so we kind of accomplished that without a mess. I am impressed with myself with that. So now I didn't make a mess. Okay, now we're gonna get into this uh, tostada. I, there's no way I can eat this neatly. I'm gonna do my best with a fork to start off with. Lots of uh, delicious stuff in here. It's got some sour cream, some cheese, tomatoes, some avocado I ate. So mm, a lot of stuff going on with this. Uh, I don't know if you're supposed to fold it over, eat it with a fork. I'm a complete failure with a lot of Mexican food, just like I'm a complete failure with Spanish pronunciation in many cases. I never took a lick of Spanish in my life other than uh, what I saw on Sesame Street. Took French and I've done some German studies. I don't know much about Spanish other than it's a Latin romance language, so sometimes, sometimes the things look the same as French, but often not. You gotta be careful. So at least the food items, sometimes I can get it. But uh, a margarita in Spain is not the drink, it is a pizza, so watch out. I saw some young ladies make that mistake. Okay, let's see if we can taco it. Nope, nope, it's breaking. Okay, so now we're gonna try to eat it like a nacho. Here we go. Oh, it makes a great nacho. Okay, maybe this is the way you're supposed to eat it. This is like the easiest and uh, most neat way I've ever eaten one of these. This worked out great. So maybe in the future, I'm supposed to just break it up into uh, nacho-sized pizzas. Maybe I've made a discovery. Comment below, let me know what you think about this. Uh, is this the proper way to eat a tostada? I never uh, figured it out properly. Maybe this is finally the enlightenment I've been seeking. So, somehow I'm not making a horrible mess. Things are staying all on top of it. I am quite impressed this has worked out for me. So, all right, this is uh, making me a little proud of myself that it's not falling into my lap. Not dropped it all over the place. I probably will not even have to eat very much up with a fork after this. Outstanding. This is the best job I've ever done with one of these. And uh, it also had a pretty thick tortilla in the bottom, so that was nice too. Okay, so I had a little uh, technical difficulties with the tamale. So this is what it looked like, but somehow my footage did not turn out for the tamale all the way. This is the remnants of the tamale, the chicken on the bottom. So that did not all get filmed, unfortunately. Now we're going to turn the plate a little bit more here and access the rest of this stuff. So I think here we have an enchilada. It's got a uh, little bit of cream cheese and some uh, light cheese sprinkles on here. So this is a chicken enchilada that I've got here. It's got some nice flavor. Uh, again, not like uh, a lot of ooey gooey cheese or a lot of sauce like a lot of them do. So it's, uh, you know, not the largest enchilada I've ever seen either. It's a little on the smaller size. The uh, little uh, tortilla that it's wrapped in though is nice. It's got a nice uh, flavor to it. So 
So overall, a pretty decent thing. I just would uh, probably enjoy a little more ooey gooey cheese and sauce though, personally. Uh, but then I'd probably make a mess with it and it would just go everywhere, right? So at least this I can eat nice and neatly. At least it uh, is not being at all messy. So this might be the Mexican food that I've needed all along if I'm doing a way more neat job with this. Although I haven't had a taco, so maybe staying away from tacos is the best way for me to eat neatly. So this is, uh, so far, been quite a success of me not dropping a whole lot of stuff all over the place like I usually do with Mexican food. Now I have no idea what this is. It looks like just a bunch of tortillas stacked up with a little bit of the same sauce that the enchilada had. I'm not quite sure what's happening with this. Hmm. I don't recall it being listed on the menu, so maybe this is just a little bonus tortilla snack on here. So, I've uh, eaten almost everything in this, uh, except for the rice and beans, and I still have my dessert bananas to go. I believe henceforth forward, I'm just going to call this the uh, Panchitas Challenge. If you can eat this entire plate of food in one sitting, you should be the Panchita champion of this little contest that we'll invent right here now. This could really be divided up between two people at least for a good little appetizer. It could be a nice little uh, light meal during a happy hour. Um, so certainly for two people this would be no problem. For one person it's a lot of food, definitely. So I'm definitely feeling the fullness in my belly as this has been quite a lot of items to feast on so far. Let's give a little uh, rice and beans a taste here and see how they are. So, uh, they are decent. Um, there's not a whole lot of spice or flavor. It just tastes like rice and beans. Okay, I have a little salad left too here. I'll eat the tomato. I don't think I'll get to the iceberg lettuce. Oh, goodness. This is a lot to go still. I almost finished it, but look at this dessert. Okay, I'm going to try to eat a little bit of the banana here. I don't think I'll finish it all, but it looks good. I should taste it. Okay, oh yes, this does have good flavor, so um, definitely it's a very simple uh, preparation, but it's got a good flavor to it. So I uh, should stop eating now, I'm very full, but the banana is really a good and healthy thing for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off at least one of these. I actually don't even really like raw bananas, but I do like them when they're fried or cooked like this. It gives it a whole different flavor and texture to me. The plain regular banana, eh, yeah, it's not my thing. But this is uh, quite a delicious preparation, so I'm enjoying eating this. Getting my potassium in me, right? <laughs> okay, one last bite, and uh, I think that might fill me up for now, or way over fill me up. Okay, I've destroyed as much of this as I possibly can, so just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this, and while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because, hey, I do work for tips and I'd appreciate it if you could help me with that. And if you could just share this video with some of your contacts, that really would help me too. Unfortunately, I did not complete the Panchitos Challenge on this visit as I left half the banana, the rice and beans, and several other little bits and pieces like the salad on there. However, I have completed it in the past. So the total for my meal was $31.33 before tip, which was a little on the high side for what it was, I think, but it was all good. So, you should visit Panchitas and try this out for yourself. And if you complete it, comment below. Let me know you were successful. So, definitely pay a visit here for a lot of interesting food. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning in and watching the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.